welcome to another synfig tutorial and uh, today what we'll be doing is we'll be doing a text split animation so let's get started now the first thing that we need is our text so i'm going to select the text tool here left click here and i'm going to type uh let's see synfig and click ok and i'm going to scale that up a bit so i'm going to come in come into its properties and i'm going to scale it by 100 and that is looking okay to me let me just move this over here like so all right so we have our text now the next thing that we need to do is to put this in a group so i'm gonna select uh with the text selected i just clicked on the group icon so now that is within that group there and i'm just gonna rename this to text now i'm gonna open that text uh select the text layer and i am coming i'm gonna go to the tools and select my rectangle tool all right and i'm going to make sure i'm on the second layer type and i'm going to zoom all the way out here and i'm just going to because i want um some space so i'm just going to come somewhere out here and drag and place it there i'm going to have to do some editing to this so let me just select this select these two points and then move this over the text we just want to cover a portion of the text how much you cover is entirely up to you. Uh, I'm gonna make this slightly diagonal. So I'm gonna move this one up like so. And I'm gonna move this one down like that. All right, that is looking fine to me. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this. So Control C, Control V. And for this one here, I'm going to do the reverse. And to do that easily, all I need to do is just to select these points here and just move them above like so. All right, so let me turn that off so you can see. All right. Okay, so let me turn off that top one, turn on back this one, and I'm gonna click on our rectangle here. And in the blend method, I'm gonna change that to alpha over. I'm gonna do the same to this one here. So let me turn that on, rectangle, come here and click on alpha over. Okay, now you aren't seeing it because they're um, close together here. So I'm just gonna select this one. Which one is the top one? Uh, okay, this one is the top, so I'm gonna put this on top. Actually, let me just rename this to top text and this one to bottom underscore text. All right, so now we have that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna move this one up a bit how, by how much is entirely up to you and I'm gonna shift it over to the left here. So now our text is essentially splitting. All right. And it would be cool if this is where we ended, right? But uh, one of the problems here is that if you should change the text, right? If you change the text on one, it wouldn't change on the the other, right? And we don't want that. We want them to work together. So I'm gonna open up these groups here and I'm going to hold on with one of my text selected. I'm gonna hold on control, select my other text, come over here into the text properties, uh, right click and click on link. Okay, so now if I change one, it changes them all, all right? So like that, click okay and it changes them all, all right. So let me undo that. Now, I don't want to um, have to go over into my layers panel here to change my text all the time. And in one of my previous tutorials, I show you how, uh, how to do that. Um, so just right click on the text property here and export the value and we're gonna export it into the library. So I'm gonna call this enter text export. So now we can close this up and when we want to change the text, we just go into the library and change it here. Like so. All right, so that is looking pretty cool. And we can also change the font. And I should have um, linked the font together. So let me actually do that. Uh, select this, select this one here, where it says font family, right click link. All right, so now, I'm not going to export the font to this area here, right? Um, I'm just going to select one of the text here and change it. So let's say I wanted, I, I forgot the, the name of the fonts on my system. 
Uh, but let's say we wanted mm, maybe Oswald. Okay, I like Oswald. All right, so whatever font you have on your system, uh, you can change it there. So I'm liking this, and let's go ahead and do a little animation, shall we? I'm gonna remove this initial keyframe here, and I'm gonna move this to frame one, and I'm gonna take my top text here, turn on my animate button, and uh, I'm just gonna come down to frame 24 here. I'm gonna move this to the right slightly, then move it back to the left, just so that I can have a keyframe for where it is there. I'm gonna move this down to frame one, and I'm gonna move this over like so. All right, and I'm liking that. Actually, I'm gonna draw this out a bit. So maybe on frame 33 here, and I'm gonna do the same for the bottom one here. So that one is moving from left to right. So I want this one to move from right to left. Uh, so let's move this slightly to add a keyframe, and then I'm gonna come back to frame one here and move this over to the right. All right, uh, let me actually group these now, just so that I can see all of the keyframes together. And I'm gonna right click these, change them to an ease in, ease out, and let us preview our animation. Uh, just wait for it to load and play. And that is looking pretty cool. All right, so now you can save this file and you can have Whenever you want to do something like something like this, you just open back the file and all you have to do is just change the name like so. And you're good to go, right? And you will still have your animation as well. So that is pretty cool. All right. And that is pretty much the end of the tu tutorial. Also, I just wanna show you something that I'm working on real quick. Uh, so let me go up here to my plugins and right here we see storage library. Actually, I'm going to change this back to effects library. All right. So, or maybe I'll give it a different name. Now, let me demonstrate um, what this actually is. And uh, this won't be released until maybe Christmas. So it's still in the early stages. Now, let's say you have a Synfig project here, right? And uh, there are certain things that are, for example, there are certain um, actions that you are used to doing or certain, certain animations that you're used to doing. For example, the split text, right? And you don't want to always have to keep opening up that particular file. Well, now we, I have a plugin here. So let me go to plugin storage library, proceed. And this has a bunch of pre-made effects. All right, that you can apply to whatever it is that you're doing. Now, how this works is that, uh, it takes the power of the canvas and applies it to your workspace, right? So here I have text presets. So let me just click on that, all right? And it opens up all of the text presets. Now, uh, currently I have text effects and text animations. Now let's, let me show you how this works. So let me open up the text effect. And here I have a number of uh, presets here, right? Uh, but let's say I wanted the, well, the very same thing, the, the split the split text. Now this doesn't have an animation, this is just the effect, right? So yeah, let's say I like this effect. I could just go to my library here and I'm gonna change it. So you could change it to whatever you want. Actually, I'm gonna write whatever, <laughs> like so. All right, so you change it to whatever you want. You can change the color and all of that, all right? So, and the cool thing about this is, um, let's say you decide that you no longer want to use this particular effect, this particular effect, but you want to use another effect. Well, you wouldn't have to go and, but you want the same color and the same text. You wouldn't have to change the color or the text um, right now. So once you change it here, it change, it's universal. It changes for all of these. Okay, so Synfig just crashed. <laughs> okay, so um, let me go over that again. Uh, all right, so yeah, so let's say you wanted to change this particular effect to another one. All we need to do is to turn off, turn off that one and turn on the, the one that you want. So here I have a glitch effect, right? And as you can see, the text is pretty much the same. And if I try this one, text is pretty much the same and you can change it uh, again to whatever you want. So, all right, and then it updates it um, as necessary. I also have some animations here, right? 
So let's say you wanted this one. Now how this works is that once you find the one that you want, right, you would simply just right click, right click copy. Um, you make all the edits here, by the way, and then you just go back to your document and you just edit and you paste that file, that um, particular animation into your, your, your project file, all right? And that is really cool. And then once you're done, you just uh, close that file and then you could just save your, um, your document here, your project. So file, save as, da da da, let me just save this on the desktop, save it as Synfig Animation 2, right? And let me just close this, like so. And when, when you need to reopen it, you just open that same file. And of course, the animation will be there, like so. All right, so that is pretty cool. And of course, if you wanted to go in again and um, find a different text, you could just open up your um, open up the text presets here, and uh, you know search for the one that you want. Let's try something else, maybe this one here. Let's see what this does. All right, yeah. And let's say you wanted to change the name, you just change it again. Uh, A G A I N again. <laughs> All right, and then you just go back into your original um, document. Yeah, so this is a plugin that I'm working on and I've rumbled on far too long. So that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.